The German Leopard II is one of the most famous modern tanks. It's known for its great armor, cutting-edge technology, reliability, and ease of maintenance. You can find Leopard II tanks in War Thunder in the top tiers of the German and Swedish tech trees. Today, we'd like to talk about the most efficient ways you can use them. The first member of the family most players will meet is the experimental Leopard 2K, one of the earliest versions of the tank. Thanks to its 16x zoom, the gunner can deliver accurate fire at ranges exceeding 2 kilometers. On top of that, the standard 120mm APF SDS rounds can boast both a good penetration rate and nice damage. With a 1500 horsepower engine and a good transmission, it enjoys excellent dynamics, while the gearbox allows the machine to accelerate up to 72 km an hour both forward and in reverse. The Leopard 2K is a highly mobile sniper MBT that's perfect for flanking and ambushes. Compared to the Leopard 1, it has higher firepower as well as better survivability thanks to a larger Beyond Armor space. You can also use this mix of mobility and survivability in close combat, for instance by driving out at high speed and sending a quick shot. The RH-202 autocannon on the turret is a great tool for knocking out enemy barrels or grounding careless helis, but we wouldn't recommend risking it. The 2K's armor still leaves much to be desired. The Leopard's opponents could be divided into two main categories. The Soviet MBTs are easy to pen through the lower glacis, the middle of the driver's hatch, and the gun mantlet. The Leopard's good depression angle also allows you to find a good position on a hill and hit an enemy in the roof. Western tanks, on the other hand, need to be hit smack in the middle of the hull, or around the lower glacis where ammo is often stored. When flanking, try to aim towards the front of them so that your round hits the center of the combat compartment. With Soviet tanks, aim for the center of mass where the autoloader's racks are stored. Other Leopard 2 prototypes are only available on the market as event machines. The PT-16 T-14 is basically the 2K with an autoloader, no autocannon, and no smokes. The mechanism gives it a reload time of only 4 seconds, which allows it to win in a duel against most opponents. The PT-16 T-14 is also a highly dangerous tank in the first stages of a battle. You can find a great remote sniping position on it and destroy a few opponents right after the battle starts. On the other hand, it can't boast reliable armor, much like its predecessors. The lack of smokes on this machine can make any error your last. The Leopard 2AV develops on the concept of the 2K and comes very close to the mass-produced model. The new composite armor in the turret cheeks and upper glacis can sustain quite a few hits, while the fuel tank in the lower glacis serves as additional armor. Moreover, the 2AV retains the advantages of previous models, only losing a bit of reverse speed. Thanks to the new gunner optics with a bit less zoom and a wider field of view, the Leopard 2AV feels more like a versatile fighter rather than a sniper tank. It's equally competent at both offense and defense, no matter the landscape. The only complaint here is a lack of thermals, but this is an issue on all Leopard prototypes. As for the production models, you can find quite a few of them in the German and Swedish tech trees. In terms of tactics, they're almost identical to the 2AV. Each new upgrade gives you better armor without sacrificing mobility. Moreover, the production leopards found in the game are equipped with both thermals and quick-firing 120mm cannons, with the latter helping you win duels against the T-72 thanks to a high reload rate. Production leopards also have blowout panels for the ammo racks in the turret rear. Some hits might ignite it. If that happens, turn the turret to prevent the fire from spreading to other modules. Speaking of production models, we'd like to highlight the German 2A6 and the Swedish STRV-122. The 2A6 can boast an even better cannon that makes the already great DM-53 shell one of the best in War Thunder. 
You'll still need to aim for vulnerabilities on the thickest opponents, though, like the T-80 BVM or other Leopard 2 tanks, but the damage is great nonetheless. The Swedish STRV-122 can truly be called the best protected Western MBT. The turrets on the Leopard 2A5, 2A6, the Polish Leopard 2PL, and the STRV-122 are reinforced with additional composite screens, which makes them basically impenetrable even for the latest shells. Moreover, the Swedish tank has an additional composite plate on the hull, making it almost invincible to shells like the 3BM-42. Outside of that tiny detail, you can play the top leopards any way you want. Sniping, aggressive rushes, balanced approaches, anything goes with these tanks. Finally, we'd like to give a shout out to the British Vickers Mark 7 MBT and the Finnish ITPSV 90 SPAA, found in the Swedish tech tree. The MBT is basically a mix of the Valiant Experimental Tank's turret and the Leopard 2A4's hull. Its protection and driving performance are equal to the original machine, but its turret and armament are a different matter. The L11 cannon has the L26 APF SDS round with excellent damage and a Hesh round, efficient against lighter vehicles. The first stage ammo rack only fits three shells and is found in the center of the combat compartment, next to other rounds. The Mark 7 has no racks in the front part of the hull, and it also lacks blowout panels for most of its ammo, so every hit to the center is deadly. Speaking of protection, the Valiant's armor is worse than its German counterparts, but it can reflect some strong shells when positioned on the side of a hill. The Finnish SPAA is the familiar marksman module based on the Leopard platform. Its usage is similar to other mobile anti-air vehicles like the Gepard and the ZA-35. Its radar and two Ehrlichon cannons are great against helicopters, while its APDS belt works just as well against MBTs. Its hull armor also comes in handy at times. It's based on the Leopard 2 after all. The Leopard 2 surely deserves its fame as one of the best German tanks. Many European nations chose it as their default MBT in the early 21st century. Which models of this tank do you like? Tell us in the comments below.